Resurrection Mary, is a well-known ghost from the Chicago area. The ghost, according to witnesses, resides in Resurrection Cemetery in Justice, Illinois, just southwest of Chicago. She is perhaps the most well-known ghost in the Chicago area. The Resurrection Mary story begins at Willow Springs at the O. Henry Ballroom, later it was renamed the Willowbrook. Mary, a young woman, went to a dance with her boyfriend. The young couple got into a heated disagreement later that night, and Mary decided to walk home. She walked along Archer Avenue in her white gown, despite the rain that night. Mary never made it home. Between the O. Henry Ballroom and the Resurrection Cemetery, she was struck and killed by an automobile. The driver of the car that hit Mary was never identified. The accident was thought to be a hit and run, with the driver abandoning Mary by the side of the road, leaving her to die. Some claim Mary's identity is that of Mary Bragovi, a young woman who died in 1934, or possibly it could be Mary Moskowski, who died in 1930. Both women died in car accidents, and are buried in Resurrection Cemetery. A third possibility, that has been suggested by various Chicago paranormal experts, is that Resurrection Mary is the spiritual counterpart of the youngest of all the candidates, Anna Norcus, a 12-year-old girl. Norcus was born in Cicero, Illinois in 1914, and given the name Ona, which is Lithuanian for Anne. It was not common practice at the time to christen children with two names. However after 1918, children were christened with a Christian name as well as a historical name, in order to increase their pride in their homeland. Anna began using the name Maria Mary, as her middle name as a young girl, because of her love of the Blessed Mother. Anna had grown into a bright young lady as she approached her adolescence. Her father, August, was persuaded to take her to a dance hall for her 13th birthday, because she loved to dance. The father and daughter set off from their Chicago home at 5421 South Neva, for the legendary O. Henry Ballroom, on the evening of July 20, 1927. They were joined by her father's friend William Weissner, and also Weissner's girlfriend. Then after a night of dancing at about 1.30 a.m., the group drove through Resurrection Cemetery on Archer Avenue, then turned east on 71st Street, then north on Harlem to 67th Street. The car swerved and slammed into a 25-foot deep railroad cut that was previously unseen. Anna was instantly killed. It was said she was buried in her dancing shoes by her grieving parents, because she loved dancing more than anything. Regardless of who it is, it's said her spirit now ventures out from the grave for a night of dancing, always to return to Resurrection Cemetery at the end of the evening. Several people have claimed to have seen the ghost of a young woman hitchhiking down Archer Avenue, after her death in the late 1920s. Reportedly, 36 substantiated accounts of encounters with Resurrection Mary, have surfaced over the years. Jerry Palus was the first person to meet Resurrection Mary. It was in the year 1939. Jerry was a frequent visitor to the Chicago Dance Hall. Jerry was smitten by a young blonde woman, and invited her to dance right away. He didn't learn anything about her except that her name was Mary, and that she lived on the city's south side. He spent the entire night dancing with the young lady. Jerry offered Mary a ride home when it was time to leave. Jerry was questioned about his meeting with Resurrection Mary before his death in 1992. As we walked down the street, she said, you might as well take me down to Archer Road. And I asked, what for? I told her that you said you live up here. No, I want to go out to Archer Road, she replied. Jerry came to a halt in front of Resurrection Cemetery, and let Mary out. She vanished in front of his eyes at that precise moment. Jerry admitted to being confused, but he was willing to overlook one unexplained disappearance. The next day Jerry drove to the house where Mary had stated she lived, still curious about the intriguing woman. Jerry was able to locate the residence with ease. Mary's mother was the one who answered the door. The woman told Jerry that Mary had been dead for five years when he asked if he could see her daughter. That's when Jerry realized why the woman he was dancing with that night was icy cold to the touch. It was the touch of a corpse. He knew the feeling, because he had worked in a funeral home before. Over the years, 
Resurrection Mary has been sighted at dance clubs, in taxis, and walking outside the cemetery looking for someone to take her home. Claire Rudnicki was driving around the front of Resurrection Cemetery in 1980, when she saw Mary for the first time. I honestly didn't believe there was a ghost. You hear these legends and old ghost stories, but I've never experienced anything like it. But I'm beginning to think I'm going to change my mind. As we drove down the street, I was just looking out the window. And there was a girl walking on the right side of the road. She shined brightly, almost illuminating. She was simply walking slowly. Oh my God, it's Resurrection Mary, I started thinking. And I'm starting to feel sick to my stomach. I must admit that I was terrified, it did frighten me. We all went by where she was walking, then turned the car around and came back, and by the time we got back to where we originally spotted her, she had vanished. Claire's husband, Mark Rudnicki, said she just disappeared. Janet Kale and a friend were out for an evening drive in October 1989. They arrived at Resurrection Cemetery after about an hour. Janet remembered a pale young woman stepping in front of the car at that point. There was no contact, no bump to let you know I'd struck something. But I know she's gone, I slammed into her. Her hair and clothes were flowing back, and she was dressed entirely in white. It seemed like a stream flowing backwards away from her. In August of 1976, one of the more stranger stories of Mary happened. A man made a report to the police about a young woman who had been locked in the cemetery. He noticed a young woman standing on the opposite side of the gates, she was gripping the bars. He went to the nearby police station. When policeman Pat Holm arrived on the site, he checked with his flashlight that no one was present, and that everything appeared to be in order, but something struck his eye, two of the door's bars were inclined, and separated at an odd angle. Small handprints, as well as burn marks with a texture similar to flesh, were discovered during tests to determine what had happened. Experts in the field of metalworking were baffled as to how someone could bend iron in such a way. Bill Geist, a columnist for the Suburban Tribune, described the incident of Ralph, who was a local taxi driver, who picked up a young woman on January 31, 1979. To quote the taxi driver, she was a looker, she was a blonde, she was young enough to be my daughter, 21 tops he said, she was near a small shopping center on Archer Avenue when he arrived. She climbed into the front seat, and directed the driver to drive up old Archer Avenue, making it obvious that she needed to get home. She appeared perplexed, unable to respond to the cabbie's courteous queries with clarity. The snow arrived early this year, the girl finally said, with all the lucidity she could conjure up. The lost passenger then shouted, here, it was in front of a rundown shack across the road from Resurrection. I hit the brakes. I looked around and didn't see any kind of house. And then she sticks out her arm, and points across the road to my left, and says, there. And that's when it happened. I looked to my left at this little shack. And when I turned she was gone. Vanished. And the car door never opened. May the good lord strike me dead, it never opened. Singer Ian Hunter, featured the song Resurrection Mary, on his 1996 album The Artful Dodger, in which a motorist picks up a lovely young woman with an incandescent glow, who says to the driver, I'm trying to get to heaven, can you tell me where that is? Resurrection Mary is the subject of three films based on the legend, one in 2002 starring actor Wilford Brimley of Cocoon fame, one in 2005 starring Joe Estevez, and another film that was made in 2007. Mary is portrayed as a dark or spiteful spirit in all three films. She has also been the subject of several TV shows including the popular Unsolved Mysteries. So what do you think about Resurrection Mary? Let us know in the comments below. And as always please like and subscribe.